where we got coaches kind of mentioned a little bit. Being a Philadelphia guy when you play these big five schools, is it a little bit of more on the line for you? Uh, I wouldn't say it's more on the line, but I, I do kind of take it personal just growing up with the guys, just, you know, just Philly versus Philly, things like that. I mean, Tracy and, and Dave Beatty, they both played in the Catholic League, so I'm, I kind of had one up on them, and I just wanted to keep it going. Do you think that kind of brings more intensity to your game when you're playing guys that you're familiar with? Uh, not really, because most of the time we work out together in the summertime and things like that. We go play pickup together, we work out together, so... Uh, we kind of know each other, like they're each other's game. So I want to say it makes it easier, but it makes it, you know what you can do and can't do against those guys. Uh, and there's a stretch late in the second half, I think, where you scored on like six or seven straight possessions for you guys. Can, it, can you walk me through that stretch and how, how this kind of fuck has came about for you there? I mean, I don't know. You know, I, I missed a couple of easy layups in the first half, so I had to bounce back. and. It just happened to happen to be in the second half, and uh, I just got it going. My teammates found me, Oakland, you know, got me good looks, and I just finished it. Troy, can you kind of feel that happening when that happened? Uh, yeah, uh, actually, during one of the timeouts, we kind of drew up a play, and I told Cam to not even look at me, just throwing in the Ali Han and just let him go to work and score. So, I mean, I believe in him, he believes in himself, so he's our guy. Why not give him the ball? It's especially with. Um, Kirk kind of a little banged up. How much does it rely on you two this year, no Tremaine this year, to kind of go get a bucket? Uh, I mean, I think I think we we just play more as a team. Like not not taking anything from Tremaine because he's a he's a great scorer, a great playmaker. But I think not having him forces us to play more of a rhythm and as a team, since we don't have that breakdown guy like he was. And I think Cam stepped up. He he for a freshman point guard for for a gold jersey game. He he showed up big time. He he was poised. He made great plays. He made great reads. He we pr he should probably have more assists, but we missed a couple easy ones. But I think he, he controlled the whole game. Hi, um, this is your second straight, you know, big game against the Saudi team here last year. Yeah, pretty solid game. Did, did last year's performance kind of give you more confidence than in this one? Uh, not really, but the, the first time I came here, we were playing pickup against against La Salle, and uh, I broke my thumb here, so I had to I had to sit out for like a month, month and a half or two. So it kind of, you know, it kind of gives me more uh, ambition to play against them, and you know, just, just kind of get it back, I guess. Hey, Troy, you looked, uh, you know, really comfortable, really confident, you know, in that second half, man. What, you know, what allowed you? What helped you to kind of get into that mojo, man? And then when you were at that place, you know, uh, you know, what helped you to keep it going? Uh, I don't know. Sometimes I just, I just get in this zone where I just. I don't know. Uh, if you if you go watch the Delaware game last year, like I just got in that zone. I felt like I just I just locked into that zone again today. And I, I I can't really explain it. It's just one of those zones you get into as an athlete, and you just lock in, and you just I don't know. Everything felt like it was just going in slow motion, and I was just way faster than everybody else. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, one one of the things that I was really really impressed with was your foul shooting. Um, do you know how many foul shots you made? Uh, I was fourteen for sixteen. No doubt, that's pretty impressive. Um, you know, big game, small game, regardless. You know how how you know how happy are you or satisfied with you with that type of shooting? And, and down the stretch, you know, big games in the future. You know, tor championship, you know, tournament games, all that kind of stuff. I mean, I think that's a super valuable thing, man. Um, talk about that. I, I, uh, getting to the free throw line has just always been a part of my game, even in high school. It's just I don't know. I play downhill, so I get to the rim, I get fouled a lot. So it was like, if you want to score the ball, you gotta make free throws. So. I don't know, after practice every day, I make sure I make 10 in a row before I leave. If I miss the ninth one, I got to start over. So it's just a it's just a routine I do, just make sure I see the ball going in the room. Just, I don't know, just concentrate, get the ball over the front of the room and just give it a chance. No doubt. Oh, yeah. uh, Rutgers, uh, you spent a lot of time kind of getting the ball out of the perimeter. Today, you were obviously much more uh, near the basket. Is there an area you prefer to operate in? Uh, I mean, you know, Rutgers is like bigger guys and stronger guys, so it's kind of harder to get in the ball. and. They were front to me all the time. The, they kind of let me get the ball, but then they doubled me. But then uh, they stopped doing that in the second half. So I, I, I just kind of get it going, uh, got a feel in the game, and then it was, it was easier. Troy, there, I think there are two missed alley oops in this game. Are you, are you going to teach the guys how to, how to finish those? <laughs> oh, <laughs> man, they should be teaching me. I mean, I told Ali at halftime he owes me. He has to go dunk on somebody sooner or later. But I mean, they're my guys. I, we won the game, so we'll, we'll laugh about it later. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.